Yeah, so motherboards, we're actually showing some unique motherboards here at IDF as well. This motherboard here actually launches today on Newegg. This is our Z87X UD5TH motherboard. So the TH stands for Thunderbolt. As you can see, we've got the dual Thunderbolt ports here. Um, as you can also see, this is our uh, red color scheme UD5TH. So this is one of our high-end Z87 motherboards. It's got um, wire, wireless and Bluetooth 4.0 included. It's got some overclocking features as well, power on, debug. Um, we also have power over PCI Express. So this is a, our nice new uh, Thunderbolt motherboard that we're launching here today. And then a couple of other ones I want to show you quickly that we haven't shown before. This one's also a Z87 motherboard. This is our Z87 UD7TH. Uh, so again, another Thunderbolt motherboard. Um, this is our one of our highest end uh, Z87 motherboards. As you can see, it, it has a quite unique heatsink design. So it's got a fan as well as the water block. Um, and you can see many different overclocking buttons as well. We've got uh, uh, OC ignition as well as tags, so you can do overclocking on the fly directly on the motherboard itself. So this one hasn't launched quite yet. It'll launch in the next couple of months. Um, this is actually also going to be Thunderbolt 2.0, so the new generation of Thunderbolt. So stay tuned to, to see this one launching. And then one other one. Here at IDF, Intel is launching the Ivy Bridge E CPU. Um, so that supports the X79 chipset. So this motherboard, it's a very early sample motherboard. As you can see, the heatsink isn't final. We don't even have the final heatsink on this. But this is our new gaming motherboard for X79. This is the Assassin 3 motherboard. Um, for Gigabyte, for our gaming motherboards, we've tried to put a lot of features specifically around audio. So we're the first ones to put an OP amp socket on our motherboard. We've got Creative Soundcore 3D chip on board. Um, so we, we also have this um, new features in terms of our audio. We've got these dip switches here that can control the gain. So if you have high-end headphones and you want to boost the gain, you can do that directly on the motherboard. And we also have this guy, which is new as well. This is our uh, USB DAC up. Um, basically, if you want to use a DAC audio device, you can plug it directly on, uh, on this USB port. And it's actually powered from a separate rail of the motherboard. So you're getting a much cleaner uh, power signal for, for the DAC. So cleaner power means better audio quality. Um, also, if you have a DAC that's self-powered, you can actually shut the power off of this. So you're actually not getting any power from the motherboard, so an even cleaner signal. Um, so we've done a lot of really nice audio features on this motherboard. Obviously, this does um, four-way crossfire and SLI. Um, and this is X, X79 platform, as I mentioned. So those are some of the new ones. This one actually isn't going to launch for the next couple of months, but you know, stay tuned. You'll see this one. And that's pretty much it. I think you guys have seen at Tweaktown our other motherboards at Computex that we're showing here today.